and the adventure begins. So, everybody here, we got... You guys are a bunch of heroes, right? So, you, you guys have been told that a town called Barrow's Edge has called for adventures, requesting help and promising reward. Gold. The request did not include any specifics, but they're asking you for aid. Okay? You guys start traveling on this dirt road. Show signs of regular use, right? There's a few weeds and fresh grooves showing the frequent passage of wagons. Um, but it looks pretty normal, right? You guys start traveling along. As you crest a rise in the road, you see fighting ahead. A merchant's wagon lies on its side. His horse is dead or scattered. Several elves, elves and goblins lay dead while few of each continue battle. You guys hear fighting. King, king. You guys hear the clashing of swords. You hear people dying. You hear elves yelling their words. I'm not going to try to speak elvish. You hear goblins <laughs> as they slash through. What do you guys do? It's up to you. You guys can do whatever you want. First, I have a question. Can I ask questions? Yeah. Who am I more loyal to of that clashing group? Um, so roll a so roll the d20. It's going to be your knowledge. Which d20? Yep, that one. Okay. Uh, roll it for me. You're rolling knowledge to see what you know about goblins and elves. Yep. It's a two. Okay. I would say still though. I mean, it's not that high. Um, you still know that goblins are usually the bad guys. Bless you. Uh, you still know goblins are usually the bad guys, but you roll up and you see goblins killing some elves. Oh, goblins are wrecking. Yeah. Okay. Do, is it still me or can yeah, it, you can you can anybody can go. Uh, what do I do? Well, it's up to you. What do you want to do? Uh, Anything you want can happen. Punch him in the punch face. who? An elf a or a goblin? A goblin. goblin okay, yeah. so you run up. And you immediately go to punch the goblin. Okay? Everybody roll initiative for me. So roll that d20. Initiative. Everybody roll it. I got oh, a one. Dang, I'm stuck on two. <laughs> I got a one. I got ten. Oh, one, no. Six. six. Ten. 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 Six. Ten. Okay. <laughs> so. You go first. You go second. You go third. You go last. Ten. Okay? The goblins will go right before you. Okay? Okay. So. You see goblins trying to stab a couple elves who have been injured. No, hell what do you no. Do? You go to punch them. Use your d20. Let's bow, go. Bow, 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 bow. Bow. Oh, yeah, you did. Okay. So 13 plus your... That hits. So roll a d6 for me. <sighs> one. Okay. Still, you do you do uh, pretty good damage. Um, You hit one of them. All of a sudden... Drop breaks. Yeah. Oh. boy, and he, and he drops. Okay. Um. You can tell you did one. You see two more. One looks a little stronger than the one you punch. One looks about the same. You're ready to go, right? Uh, actually, go. You go ahead. The rogue comes up. D twenty, right? Yep. Eighteen. Oh snap! That's all of the hit. Damn girl. Okay. So how, you're using a uh, sword or a bow? Uh, let's do bow. Okay. So you shoot an arrow whoosh, immediately right through the head. Whoosh. You almost instantly kill these guys because they're goblins, but roll the D8 for me just to make sure. Nope, the that one right there. Nope, not that one. No. That one, yeah. Four. Yeah, yeah, you do. So you, whoosh, right in the head. <laughs> it drops. The arrow goes, as it faces down, the arrow goes through the rest of its head. There's one goblin raider left. It turns towards you. Its sword is drawn. Go. D20? Yep, D20. So you, 15, yo. So you roll up. You go with your giant great sword. You go to slash it. You hit. Roll two D6s for me. <coughs> that one and another one. The exact, yep, both of those. Uh, six and a Eleven. five. Eleven. So 11. Oh, you all the murdered it. Right? You slice it right in half. 
It drops. Boom. You are it gone. didn't even get an attack in. You guys immediately move up. No more goblins around. You see the bodies of elves and goblins laying around. As you guys start going up, you guys hear scuffling under a wagon that's tipped on its side. All of a sudden, out comes a little tiefling. This tiefling uh, comes out. She's It's a female. She's got curly hair, brown hair. And she comes out. She goes, uh, the, the name's Finley. Thank you for... Thank you for helping me. Uh, thank you for helping me. What do you guys say to her? Do we have to roll or can we just jump in? You can just talk. There? I'm like, girl, what happened to you? We were on our way into town to Barrow's Edge and we were attacked by these goblins. We've heard that recently there's been goblin attacks, but we didn't think that they would attack us. We don't have anything really on board other than food. Roll or just go? Hey, keep going. Could, I don't want to be like the leader of this group, so if you guys want to jump in, jump in. But I'm like, well, if you knew that goblin attacks were up, why why go out? Why? I mean, I know you didn't think they would attack you, but you got food. Why jump, Why risk it? Because Barrow's Edge needs food, and we need we need to provide them with food and as well as money for ourselves. Mm. Sorry, I, I apologize. My name is uh, Finley Selgoods. It's it's nice to meet you. I'm actually a resident of Barrow's Edge. Barrow's Edge. Winley Fairgoods? Finley. F Finley Selgoods. Selgoods. My name is Sir Reckham. That's a, a, a very nice name. Doesn't matter, but we'll protect you if you would like. That would be absolutely fantastic. Would you guys mind helping me uh, into town? Yeah, we'll escort you. Yeah, we'll sure. escort yes, you into sure. town. Sure. That would be great. Um, could somebody with muscles please help me lift up? No, you. Oh, don't. I'm strong as you. I will go I have by light. them. My strength's twenty-five. Okay. I'm twenty. I'm at twenty. Okay, so roll a strength check for me. The D twenty. Yep, that one. And you roll this one. Solid. Solid. Okay. Solid. Yeah. You guys are able to lift the car on its side. So you guys hear it go. Up. Uh, up. The horses are dead, so somebody's gonna have to pull it. Will you yes. guys help pull it? I will. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, so you guys immediately ball. mount up. Uh, yeah, obviously you're a rogue. You don't even care. You're like, let the peasants do it. Like, um, <laughs> you start rolling. Um, you guys see that uh, Finley talks to you guys quite often in a couple hours. She tells you that um, Barrow's Edge is about four hours away. Um, and she tells you that they've been attacked by goblins a couple times, and that we've, she's heard that people have been attacked by goblins as they've gone in but to Barrow's Edge. why do the goblins want to go there? Mm. We don't know. It's not very often that goblins attack random passengers. Uh, but thank you so much, as, as you heroes have helped quite a bit. We've heard that Barrow's Edge is um, offering a reward for anybody that will take out the goblins. What's the reward? We do, we don't I don't know personally, but when we get into town, we'll find the people that are willing to pay. Hmm. You guys roll on. You guys are carrying this cart, it's starting to get kind of heavy, uh, mostly because the rogue and the paladin are sitting on top of the wagon, going, "Keep going, whipping." As you guys keep going, um, as you guys walk, all of a sudden, you hear. Well, actually, everybody roll a perception for me. With the D20. Everybody roll the D20. The big 20. Yep, okay. big 20. 15. 16. 19. 5. 19. So you two. You guys are the ones ahead, right? So you're pulling this cart. It's super heavy, right? And all of a sudden you hear... <laughs> and out from the bushes, you guys immediately see a wolf and a goblin near them. Goblin with... Uh, wolf pelt over his uh, chest. Everybody roll me initiative, the d20. I ain't scared to no. know. Dang it, I'm a little scared. 15. I got four. Oh, I got five. I got ten. Okay, you two go first. Ten? Yeah. You go third. The goblin will go fourth, you go last. I, guess I go third. Do so I, I have four. D20? Okay, yep, you go first. Oh. 
16. And a girl. I don't That's fire. all girl. of the hit. I don't fire. Right? I don't fire. Um, so you uh, you shoot him with your bow. Uh, roll the D6 for me. Or the D8, because you're using a bow. Sorry. Nope, not that one. Sorry. That's the it. one closest to your brisk. This not one? that one, but the other one. That one. <laughs> Atta girl. Seven. Atta girl. Okay. So. You immediately sh shoot it. Do you shoot the wolf or are you going to shoot the goblin? Wolf. Okay. Uh, you shoot the wolf right on the dot. It kills it. Okay. The wolf goes under. <laughs> the goblin comes out. <laughs> and it's immediately your turn. Then your turn. So you go first. Roll that d20. So you roll up. You let go of the... <gasps> oh, boy. Oh, no. Okay. Roll again for me. Mm hmm. Four. Not good. So, you're attacking with a sword, right? You immediately start running. Because you were in front of the uh, cart, you immediately trip and you kind of stab yourself. Roll a D uh, D8 for me. Not that one. That one. Yep. Nope. Left. Nope. Other one. That one. Nope. Nope. Other one. There you go. He's just trying to delay. No, roll it. No, roll on the table. That doesn't count. That's just about the same. <laughs> anyway, no. So you uh, do five damage to yourself. You immediately accidentally stab yourself, right? Yeah, no. You're a little demoralized. You're a little sad. It happens. Huh? Yeah. So, I mean, really, you're not too far behind anybody, right? Damn, natural one. So... Next one, your turn. You immediately roll up, double two swords. You're ready to it. Yep, you're gonna go up. Roll the d20 for me. Should yep, see if you hit. You need to get or is it a this 20. One? No, it's a big one, right? Yeah. I just, no! I just got a 16. 15. All the hit. So you immediately, again, slice up, roll two d6s for me. Five and six. Oh uh, my god, you're rolling like a great. Dude, because. Plus, you immediately slice down the before he can even cast the spell. You can see he was getting ready for it. Immediately, slice right off with the head. Stops. It ends up being quiet. You're welcome. Yes, we can. Wait, I have, a question. I have to do everything I have around a here. Yeah. Um, how much health does he have? He has not as much as you, um, but he does have quite you a bit. He has about yeah. He has about 18 health. He has about 18 health. So. Um, what do you guys do after? You slice off his head. What do you guys do? I want, I mean, have we checked to make sure there are no more? Because yeah, so you check. look around, nobody else. Nobody else? Mm -hmm. well, I, hey guys, I think we got to reevaluate. I mean, do we want to keep escorting these yahoos along the no. way? Yeah. No, just because we're scared a little bit, right? But yeah. I mean, but we also promised Wait, them that we someone, would take them. Someone should go ahead of the cart. So. I like where your head's at. So, Someone should go ahead. So, we could have, so they don't have to draw the I could stay behind to see. Jax wants to go ahead out. of the group to see if there's anything else happening ahead of the road. So he has actually great survival because he's a wisdom-based character because he's a monk. So he decides that he's going to go ahead. And the then, rogue, no there. surprise to anybody who ever plays rogues, <laughs> is going to take the selfish route and stay behind. How dare you. <laughs> As the paladin, are you going to help lift the guys. cart and help yeah. move it forward? I'm all about helping the, 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 yeah. the downtrodden. Okay. Yeah. So, Finley goes, oh, thank you so much for lifting. You walk ahead. You're immediately looking for footprints and other stuff. Roll me another d20. Two. You're not seeing a whole lot. But you don't know that, right? So, you're kind of going ahead. You're like, bro, it's fine. After... Yeah, after... Bro, after several hours, um, you guys roll up to a small little town. Looks like maybe a thousand people live in the general area. It mostly looks like farms, but there's a little downtown area, right? Um, as you guys walk up, uh, you guys see a lot of mostly about half humans. The rest you guys see like elves, gnomes, dwarves, half elves, half orcs. Um, and halflings. You notice that you don't see any tieflings, which are like half demon people, uh, but you see a lot of like every other race, right? 
Huh? Why don't you look around for the TV? We did. did it's, I think we I looked you, around. Yeah, you're kind of looking around right now. If you want to, you can roll a d20 to see if you perceive any uh, oh, tieflings. Is she the one most likely to perceive something? Uh, actually, it would probably be him, but she is pretty up there. This is, this is your ballgame. Go for it. Okay, so you're looking for tieflings, right? If that's what you want to do. Three. You don't see any tieflings around. You're like, hey, that's you know, that's kind of different. Um, not that tieflings are very common in general, but you definitely notice that there's none here. As you guys go up, Finley tells you, "Oh, my store's just around the corner. Um, let's just take my wagon right up there." So here's my thing. Look, girl, we're we're escorting you to your final destination. Is this your final destination? Yes, it is. This is it. So yes. Get to. I'll get you to your store. So let's go to your store. But really, our contract ends at that at that place. And that's fine. Thank you so much. As you guys walk up, you guys see a sign above the door that reads, Finley Good Cells Emporium. Little of the original cabin can be seen. Um, as you can see, a, a numerous additions just off all sides and up one level. You see a little front porch with a glassed and display area. Equ equipment of all the description fills many shelves and cases visible through the display windows, including lanterns, torches, bolts of cotton, bags of seed, and more. As you guys go up, you see multiple buildings as you're walking through. You see a beautiful church. Uh, as, as you guys know, especially you, because you're the paladin, you're more religious, right? You see a church of Pelor, which is like the sun, the god of uh, life and sun and Thank stuff you. like Yeah, it's a big deal. Um, but you guys see a temple. This large building's unpainted exterior clearly shows it to be a recent construction. Outside, the carved wooden symbols of many gods await their first coat of paint and identify it as a place of worship. You guys see a giant purple building. It's about one story. You guys see that? She rolls up. She starts taking she... uh, Finley. Yeah. Finley goes, oh, this is uh, my partner, Garrett. And a Gar and a man walks out of the store. And he goes, oh, I'm so glad to see you alive, Finley. Uh, let's start taking out some of the items. As if this was a normal, you know, she usually gets items and stuff like that. So they start unloading some of the items. Finley, after she unloads all the items, you guys have kind of been standing by because you guys just helped her. She tells you, please stay in the inn. Um, it's just uh, around the corner. And you guys kind of saw a little what could have been an inn. She tells you that it's Be uh, Barrow's Edge Inn. And she tells you, please go there. There's a female named Mally. She'll take care of you. Um, please stay the night at least. No. Are we being hunted by anybody in particular? Nope. nope. We're not being hunted. No, the only thing you guys know that there is a uh, – that this city or this town has asked for help as – goblins have been taking over but no one's actively tracking us nope not that you know so we've been traveling hey we've been traveling all day mm -hmm. we're a little tired Take no a one little right right no one's actively tracking us mm -hmm. right yeah so i think it moment. might be safe to at least stay here the night and you know maybe i mean i don't want to get more involved than we need to but let's at least stay the night before we get on with our way what do you guys think yeah that legit okay. We'll at least take her up on that. We'll stay the night. Okay. So as you guys roll up to the inn, a large building sprawls at the center, set, the center of the settlement. Light spills from its windows. A broad sign above the door reads, Barrow's Edge Inn. Welcome to all. As you guys enter, the interior of the inn feels as warm and hospitable as it seems from the outside. The warm smells of stew and fresh baked bread, uh, bra baked bread sorry, way off from the kitchen a portly woman bustles about pouring drinks and serving fruits travelers welcome we've seen food and drink uh we've food and drink and rooms all warm and clean she turns to a pair of farmhands lounging by the hearth doth dissy move give these newcomers space to settle in by the fire the two farmers nod admittedly and shift to another table now what can i get for you Get some food. So we, we can be like totally open with these guys and be like, hey, we're travelers on the road. We need some, some food. Some... Yeah. But at the same time, you maybe want to be a little careful because these guys are like. We don't know them. We don't know yeah. them, right? Yeah. So do we, should we be a little more cautious or should we yeah. be like, we're hungry, feed us? 
We, um, both. So be kind of cautious, but don't I'm, show it and I'm just hungry. I'm just right? get food. Are you hungry? Get but are you, food. yeah. Well, hey, we don't want to give you any, any information about us. We're just travelers on the road, but we're hungry. So thank you for letting us hang out here. But we're hungry. No, no problem. You helped Finley. Uh, and she pulls out a chair on one of the the tables. You're obviously adventurous, and you're obviously capable. Have you come about a call of help? It by so, I mean, we knew that Finley needed help, right? Yeah. We were willing to help her, but we don't know why. Can I tell him that? Yeah. Hey, we. All we know is that Finley. We came up. We came up on Finley. She needed help. We don't really know why, but we were happy to help her at the time. We promised her we would. We would get her to where she was going, and and that's really all we know. That, that that's fine. Um, please take a seat. And she uh, again gestures towards the chair. Around you, there's a table of four for you guys to sit. And then at the bar, you guys see a dwarf in very fine clothing, kind of just looking at you guys as he kind of, you know, moves his bottle, of, uh, his glass of wine. Um, and she, again, gestures for you guys to sit. Do you guys sit? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. As you guys sit, she goes, is there anything I can get for you? Anything to eat? Anything to drink? Well, yeah, we're all hungry. We want chicken strips. We, we would all like some chicken strips and steak. We're going to get on the road as soon as we can. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, I can get you chicken and steak. Um, is there anything uh, else I can get for you? Any drinks? Water? Wine? Some, do you have some Mountain Dew and I'll have a water. It's Mountain Dew and waters all around. Yeah. And I, I don't really know. Root beer. Root beer. We don't have any uh, root beer or uh, the Dew... From the mountain, but I do have water, which water, may suffice. Some wine of the grape. Okay. Some waters and water. wine of the grape. Is that what you would like as well? Yeah. Water. The wine of the water. The water. Okay. <laughs> so she comes out and she pours you guys three water, and she pours you some wine. Um, yeah, she did. Uh, and she, she obviously serves every one of you, and she goes, "The chicken and the steak will be out soon." Um, mm. Please. I'm hungry, yo. Seriously, I didn't think I was hungry, but I'm hungry. Uh, if, please, again, I know that you guys are just in town as you guys helped Finley, but please, the name's Mally, and if, uh, if you guys could help out Barrow's Edge, it would be quite great. It would, it would really, it would really help us out. And I, I've heard there's even people willing to pay. What, what are we trying to do? What's our goal as a group? What are we trying to go and get to where are we trying to go or what are we trying to accomplish so lately a lot of the merchants have been attacked by goblins and they've been taking our goods and killing our farmers and i would really like you guys to help us do we care is my question do, do we care that they've been getting kind of beat on a little bit no. well yeah. you guys are heroes yes, so do do, do heroes her. yeah look people yeah. look up to you and uh, her, concern, her question was what to us? If you guys could help out. So, so, so Mally goes, I mean, really, we're a trader's town. And if you guys help us also, we could spread the name of the heroes that helped us. Just a, I'm, I think we're all willing. We all want to help. Out, right? Exactly. We all want to help because we're heroes. Everyone looks up to us, but we want to keep it on the DL because we don't want to get like murked by a bunch of fools that come rolling yeah, in here. Yeah, we don't know what they're about. I mean, we're kind of limited, right, in what we can do. Mm -hmm. So if we get like a thousand mercs coming in here, they're going to beat us. So if I may, we're willing to help. We want to help and, and, and we'll help as much as we can. We do want to keep it a little bit on the down low because, I mean, there's only four of us. We're legit as hell, but there's only four of us, and we want to keep it on the deal. But, yes, we're willing to help. Well, that would be amazing, and we would spread the name as, as your name is Heroes. And all of a sudden, you hear the dwarf go, Ugh, I imagine these will do. Said, imagine these will be. And she goes, Well, we have no militia, no guards. And we've already lost too many good men and women to these goblins that we sent into the forest after. I mean, we, we send out a call for help for adventures like yourselves, but to find out why the goblins have suddenly turned violent and put an end to the threat, we should pay you 500 gold pieces once we have proof that the goblins won't attack again. We'll take that, every bit of it. 
but we want to know what what do you expect that we're going to be seeing? Are we going to be seeing like hordes and hordes of these elves and these people trying to kill us, or are they come in like little bands, or what's the situation? We haven't actually seen the goblins. All we've known is we've sent people out into the forest and they've been and they've been killed. And the goblin uh, stops and he's like, "Look, if you guys can, uh, we'll pay you well to go in yeah, to the forest yeah, to right. go and." Att- and attack these goblins. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll oh, take yes. your money. Sorry. Yes. We're just four people. We'll take every bit of the money that you offer us. We'll go and we will deal. At least right now. With the people that are causing you problems. But we, we want everything that you're offering. We know. We know the last place. We know the last place that they've been attacked at. But you must take the fight to the goblins. I am wondering however how you plan to find the liar as there's quite a few of them and we haven't been able to find the liar that's great because we got a couple of dudes right here that are great at tracking fools these guys will track fools all day long we'll we'll find them we'll take the fight to them and we're going to deal with it for now all right well i'll have one of my men show you the last place they were shown and you can look for them of course, he'll at least show you where they were last attacked. Okay. So as you guys... Okay yeah. You all right with this? Yeah, all right. sure. All right. Let us know when you guys are ready and we'll I send you off so on your gonna way. Go. We're going to get some money for helping these guys out, fighting them. Right? I think we're okay. He's going to show us where they're at. We're legit. Okay. I think we're okay. You guys are ready to go yeah, now? we're ready to go. So, immediately, a human man uh, stands up. He's got all blue clothing on. And he goes, I'll show you the place where they were attacked. And... I'll show you. Uh, and so you guys walk with him. You guys go down the trail. As you guys go down the trail, you see a couple of elves that are dead. You see some blood, and you see some footprints. If you're trying to track them and find their footprints, roll me a d20. That, that's you two. So roll them a d20. I got a Six. Eleven. No, nine. Okay. You're able to locate. you. Six. So you see... That, obviously, your wisdom is the best, right? You immediately are, are checking around. You're kind of looking around. You're like, oh, hey, people have died here. That's about how how far you've gotten, right? It's obvious you, blood in the bodies. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you see some footprints. Oh, actually, I got 14. No, actually, I got 20. Right, right. Jax, you see the some bigger. footprints. You, you're like, hey, they came from this way. You guys travel through the forest. Through aspen trees and these this beautiful forest as you guys start walking around immediately you guys come up and you guys see a mountain and in the side of the mountain you see a cave everybody roll me perception so roll me a natural tw- or roll natural 20 if you guys are all lucky roll me 20s d20s 13 it's a big one yeah 13 got 13 5 12 Thir- 9 13 i got 13 so nice. You guys roll. You're a little bit higher because obviously that's it's a little bit higher for you. But you, still, you guys roll. You guys can see the entrance of the cave. You have modifiers. I'll explain it later. Okay, okay. At the beginning of the cave, you see a guard dog, and you see two goblins standing at the front. Slow down. Okay. Is everybody clear? Everybody clear the, the table so I can put this down. Okay. Let's, let's look at this. Hey, Jeremy. I'm enjoying this. I'm not even lying. This is yeah, fun. It is super fun. It is, isn't it? Brian? Is we're it having fun. fun. You, put that off. you guys are making fun of us. We're having fun here. Here we go. You should have played Dad. Should I bring this up? What? I, I said you should have played. Which one? Okay. My dad. Okay. What do we do? What are we looking at? Oh. So we need to put it all the way over. Oh. All, all the way, way to the edge? Okay, yeah, can you move these things here? So you guys start rolling up that way, okay? We, we, we st- where are we sitting right now? Uh, towards you. At towards me, we're right in this area here. What is this way? So that's the forest. That okay. was the way you guys came. That's the way they this were like, the, hey, we're having problems that yep, direction. This is the entrance to the cave. And we're like hanging out right here. Okay. No, you're hanging out in the grass area. So, you so we're that like way. up in this yep. bitch. Okay. Wait. <laughs> I was so close to using this for all of it. 
so we're guys you get you guys understand this they're telling us that the problems are up in this here right mm -hmm. up in this forest we're you hanging out like right here we're looking at the forest we're like okay we got this okay you move here, guys yep you see a guard dog and two goblins okay what do I put? I'm not scared of goblins. I don't know about yeah. you guys. We're Jacks, huh? though. Just uh, put it on the stairs here. We need Jacks. Oh. Here's the thing, Eddie. Look, we got a guard dog. That's stupid. I'll punch that guard dog all day long. A couple of goblins. I'm not really scared of goblins. I don't think you... We can you... kill the goblins. Hey, we, we, can, we can just wreck them. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, I'm going to have you, because you have a bow. This is your character, okay? Okay. I like that. You're like all that. flamboyant. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> because you're the What is this cat? That's her. Oh. That's her character. This is your character. Yeah, it is. Where's mine? Look how cool that is. That's you. Where's mine? Who's me? Dude, check us out. Let me see it again. <laughs> Which one do you want to be? Um. Oh, dude, those are both legit. Well, Doesn't matter. Cool. I want this one. There you go. You're going to be this one, okay? Because, Honestly, this, is what because this one has a this Check one that has dude a shield. out with that oh, arrow, that right? Yeah, we got a gold ball there. How did we get past them? That's what I want to know. You want to swack them in the Maybe face. Maybe are we so kind of like... You might have to fight them. Mm. We just, we just, I want to swack them in the face. Kill them Dude, look at us. Yeah. First of all, I want you guys to look at us. The four of us are straight legit, right? <laughs> look at us. They got a stupid dog. <laughs> they can bite us, but whatever. They got a couple of goblins, right? The I four of us are I'm legit. A, I feel I'm confident. A, you guys I'm feel... I'm going to stab yeah, the we dog. Can. We all feel confident, right? Okay, bring it. Okay. So... You see a well-worn path leads up to the cave in the hillside. The opening is about 90 feet away, and the closer you get, the more intense the feeling you have of being watched. Okay. What do you guys do? Stop. Kill them. Am I being... <laughs> Settle down there, son. <laughs> am, I, am I being... Are we being watched by anyone other than the threat that we see directly in front of us? Roll a perception for me, and I'll let you know. All of us? Who's, yep, who's the most... All of us, okay. Perception, is that the D20? I got eight. Seventeen. Nine. Five. Eight. Seventeen. Legit. Yeah, yours is pretty good. I you realize five. that, no, the only people you can really feel is this area oh, is coming from it. Right? Okay, so we're cool. We're going to go at them. Do you have a question? No, I got five. No, if well, are, if so, that, so you don't really see a whole lot. You're like, hey, we're being watched? I got eight. <laughs> yeah, no, you're the same way. No, yours is a little higher, so you're like, hey, I can feel we're being watched from the side of the mountain. And I'm a nine, like, I, I feel it too, but then she's like, she's the one that knows it. She's like, look, it's these fools that are watching us. I say we go at them. Okay, yeah. what do you guys think? Yeah, Let's so go at them. Okay, are you going to attack from afar? Let's attack. Yeah. Oh. I want to attack from anything. Can I attack from first? afar? Well, it's up to you guys. Everybody roll initiative to see who attacks first. 20? Yep. 15. Nope, not me. Two. Oh, you know. Yeah. Wait, okay, wait, roll that mother. This one. Nope, this one right there. Uh, I'm waiting for him to go. Okay, roll it. He got four. four. And 16. Oh, snap. I got it's, still, oh. it's still you. Why is it still her? Because, because she has, she has higher dexterity than you. So, because remember, yours was more strength based. Yeah. Hers is more, uh, like, more like, like she has more initiative. Exactly. Intuitiveness. So okay. she, so, so you rain back a shot and you fire through all of me another d20. Okay. Yes, come on, girl. The pink five. dies. Five. I mean, whatever. Ooh. It's okay. It's fine. Uh, which one? Are you attacking the dog or one of the two? Uh, the dog. Okay. Um. You, you hit on the dot, okay? On the dot. If you roll any lower, you're not hitting them. You shoot. Roll me a D8. That's... Does eight mean the sides? Yeah, that it okay. how many sides it has, exactly. It has eight. Yep, that's it. Roll it for me, girl. Six. Six. Boom, right in the face. Attica you girl. shoot it Sorry. right in the... Uh, again, right in the forehead. It ow, drops ow, down. Ow. Exactly. <laughs> and you... I mean... And you can see the other goblin yeah, immediately right. jump up. However, the rest of you guys, you guys were all attacking. You're 90 feet away, so you won't be able to go up and actually attack. She was able to attack because she had a bow. Right. So you guys have a chance. So you guys can run up right to them where they can attack you, or you can wait behind trees. I think all of wait, it, yeah. Go, yeah. Up, go up. Can I throw my sword? Yeah, but you can only throw it like 15 feet, which isn't All far enough. All of us, the three of us, I think we're like up in your business type of people. We will fight them like right in your business. We got to get up on them, right? Yeah. We, we want to get up on them. Okay. 
So they out of the picture. They uh no, one of the goblins out of the picture, not the goblins. One of the goblins. We got a dog and a goblin. So will you take out one of those goblins, please? That one. Yeah, but the dog is still in it. Okay. Yep. So you guys roll up. However, they go uh you go first again. Hey. So you get to attack Great again. Attention. So it's your turn. Roll again. Who's after her? Six. Wait, that's 19. 19. We're All covered. of the hit. Nice, girl. Roll Ooh. me a D8 again. A D8? Okay. This one. Yep. Oh, come on. Done. Six. Boom. Kill. Are you attacking the dog or the goblin? The dog. Okay. Okay. Dog's dead. Are you here? And it drops. Goblin, uh, now it's the goblin's turn. It's goblin he gets the four of us. he okay. immediately throws a, a little javelin, and he's going to throw it. We're going to say, we're going to use this D6, right? You're going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Three. See you, right? He's throwing this piddly thing at you. <laughs> I totally miss it. He throws. You, like a freaking G, you let it go right past your head. And you just kind of let it sit there. Uh, who was next in battle order? I think it was you. I think it was me. Yeah, he rolled the highest. So I see it go right by his head, and he's like, whatever, Bo. So then you go to attack him with your sword. Roll me D20. a d20. It's up on the... Where'd nope. it go? Oh. Right here, right here, d20. Four. Four. Oh, <laughs> uh, you barely missed. So you swing the goblin. The goblin's a little too low, right? He's about half your size. He kind of ducks under. <laughs> Your turn. I'm sorry. Yep. D20. Roll high. Five. Five. Oh. Barely miss again. This goblin, he's dodging, y'all. He's looking like, hey, I mean, he's looking like Mayweather, right? He's like, Jackson, you roll. Jax, this is you, bro. If you don't get it, I'll go up and I'll knock Six him in the head. Sixteen, yo. Here. Boom. So, roll a D6 for me. So. You don't... No, actually, no. Because this is a lower goblin. You happen to kill it. You... Right? He's dodging. He's feeling all cocky. You come around with a haymaker. Boom! Kapow! Drops. Boom, right he there. drops. You, got this you guys can see that the entrance to the cave Boom. is a little bit darker. Okay. He's going to take a little bathroom break. You see the entrance to the cave. You see it's a little bit darker. He's not the final boss, but he's a pretty cool character. So you guys start walking into the cave. You guys can tell it's a little bit darker. Do you guys want to listen to see if you guys hear anything? Yeah. Okay. So roll me, roll me the D20. Yeah. If you want to, if you want to listen, you don't have 11. to if you don't want to. He got five. Sixteen. Ryan okay. got five. Fifteen. I got eleven. I got, I got fifteen. Okay. So, you two um, notice that as you guys are kind of walking in, you realize that the entrance to the cave is actually um, quite nice. The entrance to it looks very well made as if uh, the... The stone was cut very well. Very odd for goblins, right? You guys realize that goblins usually are very crude creatures. And they don't usually roll this type of... Uh, I mean, they don't usually cut stones this way. Everybody roll me the d20 for how well you know goblins. Seven. Two. Brian got two. Fifteen. Eight. And I got 12. I got okay. seven. So you, especially, you're more intelligent being. Um, you realize, you know that goblins are very sneaky creatures. You know that they usually, when they're... Ro well, no, she rolled a 2 for him first. Yeah, it was a 2. It was the wrong one, though. No, no she rolled a 20. Yeah, I rolled a 20. It was a 2. So... No, she rolled that one. I promise. Yeah. So... You know that goblins will usually create small holes in their cave to try to surround enemies because they're pretty violent creatures. And you know they do the most abhorrent 
the um, abhorrent things just about it's well it's it's just your knowledge it's just your knowledge of goblins right so you know i'm sorry people look at that face you can forgive it so you know that goblins will hide in holes to try to surround their enemy and they do absolutely abhorrent things if you get caught by them by yourselves they will do the worst things humans can do to people okay so you kind of walk in again you can tell that the the concrete or sorry the stone is cut different than goblins would normally cut it as you guys start walking through that first room are we back in this mother nope, back now you're where your characters are at okay so you guys can see that there is a little bit of a a peak in the ground yep right there okay. nope right where you guys are at okay right there as you guys are you guys what do you guys do do you guys keep going through into the cave yeah okay did i miss anything right. legit or are we good oh no we're good i think we keep going right we yeah, we're yeah we, we, we wrecked going. those fools i think we keep yeah. going yeah we keep going so as you guys come around here, move your characters. There's a, a wooden door. Okay. You guys, we kick it. You guys go for. We kick, kick it open. You no. Kick it open. Can, no. Yeah, okay. Can we maybe discuss this for a second? Yeah. We drop. Can we listen? The door. Can we listen first? Yeah, we should listen. We listen. Is there anything on the other side There's of the door? Against the door. Okay. Can we do twenty? For all of us. Can we drop kick the door after? Fourteen. Oh no! Where'd that go? Right here. Did you get Eddie? Ah, I got Hold on, I got it. That's what? the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Okay, okay, it's over here. That's why. I got an eight. I got a. I got a seventeen. Got a we got this all day long, guys. So the fourteen and seventeen. You hear the roll. You hear the rolling of dice. Right. What? Yep. You're. No, this is a thing. Yeah. None of you guys happen to speak Goblin, so you guys can't understand it. But you can hear this. As you guys go through. The 17, you're like, I'm pretty sure I can hear four different voices um, of people in there. You could, you could tell that there's multiple goblin voices, but you're not quite to how many, right? You can hear there's definitely goblin voices, and you can hear dice rolling. How much importance do I put on the fact that I'm hearing them rolling dice? As much as you want. Like to me, that's like, like them. They're guessing. They're like trying to build up courage, right? They're rolling the dice. What do you I think? I know what to do. What do you want to do? We drop our shoulder into the door. Boom! I like that. What do you think about that? Yeah. Let's drop our. We drop our mother up and shoulders up into that door, and we knock yes. that shiz wide open. Yes. Okay. Right? right here. Who goes Wait. first? Who drops right their shoulder in first? Me. 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 These two, right here. Yep. Rock, paper, scissors, it. Both of you. At the same time. One Rock, of you. paper, scissors. Oh, you boom. Jax, all day long. Jax, okay. all day long. So, Jax, you break in, and immediately, there are four goblin guards sitting yeah. there. You got this. Everybody roll initiative for me. Which is a d20? Yep. Oh, crap. I got five. I got a six. I got a 19. Oh, sorry for got, technical difficulties. I got a 19. All, all day long, buddy. Yeah, yes. We got a 19. I got a 19. Across 19, tables. 19 hey, 19, DM, 19. we got a 19 right here. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I got five. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't I brag 15. about that. <laughs> and what are you? Doesn't matter. I'm a six. Okay. <laughs> so, it's Drew, it's you. Yeah, it is. Then Addy, you. You and then the goblins. Okay. So, uh, what do you do? Attack them. <laughs> I want to Gotta try to head up. Okay, attack them. Yes, you do. D20, bro. He got 12. Yes, you did. That all the hits. Yes, so, you D8. Did. Let's go. So, the, D8? This one. That one. Nope, 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 nope. No, no. no. It's this one, right? Nope, that one. Nope. This one? Yes, okay, thank, thank you. you. Two. Okay. 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 Legit. Um, Plus your damage, you immediately slice through one of the enemies. Recurrian! Addy, your turn. Five. Honestly, you, because yours is actually higher with the bow, you actually technically hit. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. 
So roll a d8 for me. That one, yeah. Three. Okay. Still. Right on my boom! Immediately get shot in the head. Your turn. What am I rolling? No, actually, sorry. It's yeah, I'm last. Your turn. You Wait, go in. These two are out. To attack. Jack, the monk like, comes in. 20. Yeah. Natural. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Right we right got a natural oh. 20. Okay. Roll it again. <laughs> to see it, what you Same. do. Whatever. 18. Yeah, you oh. did. Yeah, you did. So roll me a d6. Okay, you run in, right? One is cut open a guy. One shot him with a bow. Yeah, you you run in and just haymaker this little goblin. Yeah, you this did. little three foot creature. All day long, bro. And immediately, you punch it so hard, his arm falls off. What? Right? <laughs> you punch it so hard, its arm falls off. Wait, are these guys dead? Oh, three of them are. There's only one left. And it's, and it's Ryan's turn. So his arm fell off? He's dead. I'm rolling a d20. Yep, rolling a d20. Nope. Oh, yeah, that one. Right. 12. 12. The hits. Oh. You're, you automatically kill these guys because you have used the d. So roll, roll it for me because if you roll two sixes, then I'm going to have you do Wait, crazy what stuff. What am I rolling? The two d6s. Because you knocked his arm off, dude. I got a six. Okay. So two you, four. you... Uh, slice this goblin in half. All of them are dead before they even get a turn. Yeah, you guys did. absolutely are murdering we this wrecked these thing. Clowns, you guys. Look at all of us. Right you guys here. see simple wooden doors. Um, you can see that the guard room has a little wooden table. You guys see some uh, rocks that have obviously fallen off. As you guys enter to the next area, there's a little door. And through the door... This door right here. Uh, yeah, the little brown door. Okay. As you guys go through, you see a little hallway. And as you guys enter this hallway. This hallway right here. Yep. And you guys start going down. You guys don't sense anybody. Right? We feel like we're legit, right? We don't feel anything's going on beyond that hallway. Yeah. We're like, we oh, killed these fools. You guys are wrecking people before they even get in. Right. Attack. So we're like feeling pretty nuts up right now. Okay. Can I move? My Let's just leave it. So as you gotta, guys move through the hallway. Is there another door? This is the only door, right? Yeah. The hallway came. So as you guys move through the hallway to that next area. Okay. Keep going. Keep going to the next area. You guys see that the, the hallway goes forward, left, and right. Which way do you guys take? We want to go left because this looks like a dead end. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, right. Well, do, we, a... do we care about this intersection? Yes. That's where you guys are at pretty much. So we're we're here. Yep. We're you looking behind us. Straight. This goes nowhere. Right? Nowhere. Ahead of us goes a long ways up into some things we don't know about. I mean, right and left does the same thing. Which way do you guys want to go? This one's uh, kind of like. Well, again, you can't see too much. Because don't the, what's so called meta, right? Yeah. The hallway. We know yep. there's stuff at the end of this hallway. We know there's something at the end of this hallway. We know there's stuff at the end of this yep. hallway. But so let's let's take go it. Let's go straight. This way. We got two saying straight. straight. One's. I'm thinking straight too because. Straight. We can see a couple. We're gonna go straight, DM. Okay. Um, as you guys go forward, you see a door on your guys's left. Yep. Um. You see a much patched curtain of many colors hang across the doorway of this corridor. Are you guys scared? Scared? No. You guys are scared. But We've been uh, wrecking people. We hear that. Yep. Yeah. We heard that back here, and we yeah. went in anyway, right? Yeah. And we, we should just people. So we what's people. listen again? Can we open that door? Or is it locked? No, you can open it. We can open it. We can open it. No, wait, no. But we no. can open it. So no, why drop it? No, we listen to it first. No, we gotta um slice the door down. No. But it's unlocked. You guys know that, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 we can listen first, and then open the door. Hey, but it's unlocked. Let's just walk in. It's a lot cooler if you drop your shoulder. <laughs> it is cooler. Okay, I like where your head's at. No, I want, we I want know, to slice it. Open. We know that the door is unlocked. But we knock that bitch open anyway. Okay. <laughs> you. Boom. Boom. As you guys walk in, you guys see a skeleton. <laughs> and a zombie of a goblin. Uh. <gasps> As immediately goes forward. Hmm. Hmm. So we're, okay, good. 
I ain't scared of goblins, they but they're zombie goblins, right? Ooh. So we gotta take that into consideration. They may take. Hey, everybody, they roll may initiative for me. Initiative D20? Yep. 12. 15. 19. Hold on. Oh, 19. That's good. I could not buy for these guys. I'm gonna have to use different dice. 19. 19. I got so 19, 15. I got, I got a 6. 12. And a 6. And 6. So you're gonna go first. Yeah, you are. You're gonna go second. Okay. You're gonna go third. Fourth, and then the goblins, because I can't roll for garbage. So, uh, roll four first for me. D20. Yeah, there you go. 11. Okay. Okay. Respectable, bro. Um, that hits. Yeah, Which does. one are you, are you attacking? The skeleton or the zombie? Zombie. Yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. So, all right. So, roll for, uh, damage for me. D20? Yep. Uh, the D6. Or the D8. D, D8. This one? I think so. Yeah. No, the one he has. There you go. Eight. Yeah. Boom! Woo! Yes! So he cuts this thing in half. Yeah, he's like, he's zombies, done. that's terrible. So you immediately go through. You have your sword and your shield. You slice right through them yeah, you on your knee. Uh, next one. Go ahead, Addy. The D8. Three. Uh, that misses. You shoot. You can tell. Actually... Nope, that happens. Miss. If you would have been attacking the zombie, you'd all the hit, but you didn't. So, because he obviously killed it. Skeleton, it goes right through the rib cage, she, right she out the back. The skeleton, even though he killed it. No, because he killed the zombie. She's uh, attacking okay, the skeleton. Okay, gotcha. Ew. Now it's your turn, Jax. Five. So you go to punch it, and again, because it's all uh, skin and bones, you're you're you miss with your punch, right? Your turn. Or nine. Wait, that's that's, that's a nine. 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 That hits. So you, you're you able to run in. You're like, uh-uh. As uh, Jax punches, it dodges in a, in a different way, which gives you perfect momentum for you to come down and attack it, right? Yeah, Roll yeah. the 2d6s for me. 2d6s. So These two right here. A five and a one six total. All of the dead. So you immediately cut through it. Okay, see that? <laughs> Do we wreck it? Yep, you guys wreck it. So, uh, the room smells of incense and magic. Hmm. Uh, fetishes made with hair and bone decorate the walls and hang from the ceilings. The room contains a bed, a table, and a chair. That all we know? Yep, that's all you know. Is, is there any more threat in the vicinity that we know of? Not that you guys can hear or see. Maybe check it so out. So there, you guys see two doors also in there. Um, it's up to you if you guys want to search those other two rooms. Um, yeah, Do we know that one of the two doors basically is just a closet? Nope. We don't, you just so see we, two we, doors. We check the, the, the one that we think might be a closet. Okay. You go in. Which one is that? The left or the top one? Right here, the left. So you guys go in there, and you can see this, this is where, he, where somebody was making potions, hmm. right? Um, there's obviously some uh, normal c chemicals outside. There's some herbs and stuff like that. And that's what you guys see. Um, when you guys search the other room, you see more uh, heavy ingredients. Ones that are common um, that you guys know that are common are more common in spells. Um, but nothing really that would alarm you guys and or... Uh, assist any of you guys because none of you know magic. You're the one that knows magic the most, and none of these things really benefit you. Is this all regarding the door on the left or the Both door? Both of them. Both of them. Yeah. So I get basically get nothing out of what yeah. I'm sensing. You just see ingredients. You can tell they're for spells. You just don't know which one. I say we forge ahead, guys. Okay. Which way do you guys go? I think we go straight. Straight. I mean, we know the one on the left looks like a dead end. I mean, we don't know, but we think the one ahead goes further. Yeah. Let's Let's, go. We forge ahead, yo. Okay. Yeah, we keep. I mean, I, we keep going that way. Sure. We go right through that door. Yeah. Boom. Right as you guys go through that, goblins in this room immediately notice your arrival. Boom. Young goblin screaming. That's mine. Y'all love NSYNC and you know it. Everybody started dancing. I know you guys did when you were watching. Goblin's room notice your arrival. Young goblins scream in terror at the night at the sight of you and scatter in all directions. Adult goblins immediately put down crafts they are working on and leap in front, resting to grab nearby weapons and confront you. 
No one hurts the whelps! One angry goblin what? yells as he charges toward no you. No one what? No one hurts the whelps. The little kids. We'll hurt. Oh, no, we don't want to hurt kids. Okay, go ahead. We don't care. We don't care that they're kids. Just as long as you don't confront us, we'll leave you alone, right? Yeah, we'll leave. We'll leave the kids alone, but no don't get up. Don't school. get up in our business, and we'll leave you alone. Yeah, yeah. No, we won't. <laughs> Jax, <laughs> we don't want to bite off more than we can chew. <laughs> if if they leave us alone, we'll leave them alone. What do you think? No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I kind of want to attack them. Oh yeah, what's I say? Leave the kids alone and attack the goblins. I say yeah. We you agree? Attack. Wait, okay. 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 how do you kids? The goblin kids. Oh, then we still kill them. <laughs> <laughs> no, we no, leave I like your reasoning. No, no but leave the, the kids alone. Let's leave, leave the, the ones that are like coming up in our business. Let's deal with yeah, them, let's right? Yeah, let's deal with the. Let's older deal with the goblins. ones that are up in our business first. Okay. 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 Older goblins DM. First, then. DM. DM. Yeah. We want to deal with those goblins that are up in our business. We don't really care at this point about the kids that are running away. Okay. Run away. Uh. All right, so everybody, you're going to just roll attack the adults that are going to attack you. Okay, so. everybody roll me initiative again. D20. I got two. Ten. Five. One. Ten. I got one. Okay, well, the goblins still go after you because they also rolled a one. Seriously, we're using new dice after today. This is stupid. It's it's nice when your characters go all go in and immediately murk everybody, but it's not really fun for me. So, you guys, uh, you guys all get attacked first. Who, sorry, who rolled the highest? Me, I got ten. You roll first. I got one. I go last. I seven. That hits. Roll me a d8. Yep. Six. Immediately kill one. Yeah, you're on fire. You're like. I'm pretty sure I'm Legolas. You're immediately murking people, okay? Um, That's awesome. Be oh Legolas. my god, they don't know who Meg. After this, we're gonna drown him in a pool. <laughs> so, uh, so you kill one immediately. Uh, who went? Who rolled the second highest? Drew. Not me. I was last. No, I. I, I was yeah, last. you. No, he I rolled last. One. You. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. What did you roll? A five. I got two. And I got, I got six. A six. You go, you go okay, first. so it's me. I go yep. last. I got one. Oh, it's right here. Well, goblins go last because they also roll the one. Six. Six. So, uh, that barely hits. You're barely hitting one of these guys. Roll 2d6. Actually, again, you auto kill them, but roll it anyway to see how. Two how ba- yep. Six to the three, nine. So, you slice one open, its guts come out. You're like, yes. So, two of them are dead. All right. Jack's your turn. 15. Yeah, you did. All the dead. Yeah. Roll a d6 for me, just because if you roll one, actually, you won't kill him. <laughs> Whoa, hey, take it easy. Uh, yeah, let's take that. I don't know what that was. <laughs> yeah, you did. Boom. You yeah. hit him. Dead. Drew, your turn, baby. Come on, Drew. Don't be a fool. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. So you're like, hey, I ain't going last. I ain't going last. Roll it again. Doesn't matter. You yeah, roll. Go, go higher. 18. 11. Whatever. Eleven. No, kill. Okay. So you now roll me a D eight. So yep, that one. Well, all of them are gonna be dead. Long. So you immediately slice through this guy, you almost did. sliding like a samurai movie, right? You immediately cut him in half. What about this guy? That's a kid. <laughs> it's a kid. Your turn. Your turn is gone. <laughs> You kill all of them. There's only the little kids, and they immediately go into a corner. Eh, please, don't kill us. We jump on them. Just no, but hold on. Oh. Do I perceive that these kids are truly little kids, or are they, a, are they a threat to us? They're they don't appear to us. us they don't jump. have any weapons no. or anything. Hey, guys, I mean, they're, they're kids. They don't have any weapons. They seem like they're, they're, they're not a threat to us. I choose... To just deal with those kids and, and, and ignore them, basically. Yeah, so just I choose them. to walk kill away. them. Walk no. away from the kids. Yeah, walk away. Kill them. Don't Okay, ask. that's three against one. You're ruthless. Walk away from the kids. So you're going to walk away from the kids? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the kids immediately hide in the corner. Yeah, they do. Dude, we don't kill them. As you guys are doing that, the ground begins to shake. And you hear... <laughs> And that's where we're going to end tonight. 
as you guys end into the amiss of a giant. We've been wrecking fools all night long. We should have killed the Yeah, we got to change We've been all night long. We've been wrecking fools. Right at the end, we decided that there's some kids that don't. We don't see weapons. We let them go. Maybe that's our undoing. Maybe that's a maybe that's a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> but 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 the ground started to shake. I feel confident. I think we're good. We're gonna kick some. We're gonna wreck it. No. We're gonna wreck it right here. We're gonna I don't, I we're don't gonna wreck it. If we're Kill wrong, kids. if we're wrong, I'll tell you. I'll tell you you were right. Anyway, guys, you guys are gonna have to come in next time to see um, exactly what happened. Really quickly, obviously look at the map. It looks amazing. These guys are kicking butt. Uh, obviously, if you guys enjoy this type of stuff, please like and subscribe. Follow us. Um, I think it's a lot of fun. Obviously, I'm rolling like garbage, That's but um, That's the way it works. It, yeah, it really does. I mean, it's all luck of the draw, right? Um, but obviously, this isn't as much detail as I usually put in, but it's a pretty good map. It's like five feet long. So uh, we're going to do that. Again, enjoy it. We're going to come back. We're going to see how these guys deal with whatever is behind the next corner. So, have a good one.